but your ass is there, you're there. I learned that the hard way. And uh, so he fucking gets on it. He's, it's all fucking open. Number three finally got one with some belly on it and it ain't even that big of a belt. Hey y'all, just got back from Clear Lake. I want to give a shout out to Ashton. He was at the ramp on Friday, um, I believe with his family visiting uh, for summer vacation. Just want to say hey, uh, if you guys ever see me out there on the water, don't be afraid to say hi. Um, Ashton's actually the first person that's ever walked up to me so uh kind of cool kind of kind of nice to know that there's people out there that actually watch it so i appreciate you ashton um so to get going on this uh just got back from clear lake the mornings i was trying to throw top water baits um i threw walking baits like a spook junior i threw the vixen um but the only bite i did get was on the Whopper Plopper. I threw one of them. Yeah, but he was not there. I ain't worried about it. No. Yeah, I... He's probably gonna live here the whole day. Like, he ain't even leaving here all day. Okay. If I had to pedal my ass across the lake, I wouldn't leave either. Net. Now, since I couldn't get that Whopper Plopper to work, I switched over to an underspin, go a little subsurface, but still stayed up there in that top two foot. Um, focused a lot on uh, weed clumps on rock banks, and they were ambushing out of those weed clumps. Oh, what a knack there, <laughs> <laughs> You hear that pop? Yeah. Crack. <laughs> That bike kind of went all day. As long as you found good, healthy weed clumps on rock banks, you could run that underspin past there, um, and they'll come out of that shade and, and smoke them. Um, after that bite kind of died off, we were looking for something different. We were throwing a drop shot around those weed clumps and, and just kind of rock banks and uh, fishing that color line. Watch. Yeah. I started watching the uh, Yellowstone. There's a big enough bass that bird just said this. <laughs> so we out. I don't want to be a snickety snack. This guy feels a little heavier. All right, all right. Keep it coming. Keep your rod loaded. Keep your rod loaded. Last one, maybe. Oh, yeah, definitely gotta call that last one. Thank you for playing. I appreciate your contribution. For me, everything was shade related, as you can see. 
Um, I just, I just mainly stayed up shallow. I didn't go out deep. There was uh, more of a deep bite that actually did better than me for the tournament. Um, but if you're just going up there to catch a bunch of numbers, that shallow stuff. And uh, for those of you that have stuck around this far, here's a little on the water explaining of what I was focusing on. All right, so right now we are fishing at Buckingham. And what's going on is there's a weed line right here and there's a weed line in there farther. On those shade weed lines, running an underspin through there, just slow rolling it through those weeds. And they're picking it up against that. So they're hiding in the weeds and you were throwing down those alleys, they're jumping out and grabbing it from inside those weed lines. And that's with an underspin. Caller, the guy who uh, calls generators and his dog, ended up being him. That ended up, I kind of bait. I hope that gives you guys a little bit of a clue on what I'm looking for. There's not a lot of big fish in there. They're all in that two to three pound. I don't think in that area you can get anything more than four pounds, um, but there is a lot of them there. And uh, if you find not necessarily that exact spot, but a lot of the areas that kind of set up that way, you can wreck them. Now I will say you can run that pattern in other parts of the lake and catch larger fish something in that four pound class or more um just a little hint of what i'm looking for on clear lake i do believe in the whole luck factor i believe in luck and uh confidence in what you're using it's really what it is confidence what you're doing some some tournaments will just set up better for different people like deep clear water lakes i usually do better in deep clear water lakes Oh, as you were saying? Can't see it? Oh, there he is. Oh, I snapped him. Oh, is he? Oh, there he goes. He's on the roll now. Uh, he don't fit in the net. You gotta get him head first. That sucks. That camera's on. <laughs> huh? Track this thing. I don't know. It's probably about nine pounds. Big old fish. Probably like nine, ten pound catfish. Underspin, rock point. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, I hope you get them.